Hello, this is Daryl with Full Bore Engraving. And in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit about how to make the settings in EasyCAD for a fiber laser so we can mark on, in this case, a, a PMAG, a polymer magazine. It's made of um, a polymer with a nylon reinforcement and other plastics it can also mark on, but this is what I've got for an example. So I'm going to show you two different settings, sets of settings that will give you two different colors. Basically a brown and a, and a real light, uh, nearly white mark. And it, it will give you a little bit of an example of where to start on your checking your own laser around and, and whatever plastic you've got. So sit back, enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe and share this with everyone you can. And give me some comments about it, if it's good or if it's bad. You know, be kind, but any kind of a critique that I can get to make these videos better, I really enjoy. So, hang on just a minute and we'll get started. Thanks. Okay. So I've got my version of EasyCAD pulled up here, and it's basically EasyCAD too, even though it's got a different name up here at the top, so don't worry about that. You'll also notice here it says, note, USB card is disconnected. That's because I don't have this computer tied into my laser. This is just my uh, computer that I use for creating videos. But it doesn't matter because these are the settings. They'll show you the same settings. So first off, Let's just draw a little square. I'm going to come over here and click on the square mark. And I'm just going to make it big enough where we can see it. And then, so there's our symbol that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to show you what we got to do to make it a white mark on a PMAG. So the first thing let's do, let's go up here to this H. And that's called Object Fill or Hatch. So just click it it opens up so here's the settings that I want to start off with I want to click outline no marking fill number one is already selected I want to click enable for it type click on here and go down to the second type leave that checked click on crosshatch right here the distance, double click it and put in 0 0.025, 0 0.025. We're going to use pin number one, it's already selected, so that's fine. Angle doesn't matter, let's leave it at zero. And well, let's do, let's go 45. It really doesn't matter, but basically it tells the cross hatch where to start. And if you do 45, and this is the square. It'll come in this way and sweep. And then the cross hatch means it's going to go opposite of that and come down and sweep again. So it's going to take two passes basically. So you can leave it zero, but 45 is what I like to use. So then we come on down to the rest of these parameters. Just leave all of this zero. Average distribution line, leave, don't check it. 3D, don't check it. Inclination angle, again, it doesn't really matter, so let's leave it at zero. And then we're going to hit apply, and I want you to see right here what happens. Right now, the fill is, there's no fill. I click apply, and you can see that it turns black. If I zoom in, Let me go back here to my pick tool and zoom in. You can see there's a pattern to it. But don't worry about that either. Just want you to see that this 0.025 will make a difference in what that pattern is going to look like. But let's just leave it at 0.025. Now we need to set our pin parameters. So pin number one is what we've got set for this. Let's go over here. Pin number one is selected here. It's got default parameters for it. So uncheck the default parameters. Leave repeat as one. Leave this like it is. Let's change the speed to 15,000. Let's change the power percentage 
Now let's leave it at 15%. And then the frequency to 150 kilohertz. And this pulse width doesn't really make a lot of difference. I like to set it at 200 and everything else the same. Now you have to hit apply for this to work. So I've hit apply, you'll see nothing happens. But it basically sent these parameters to pin number one and pin number one is hatched like this. So then all we have to do is we go to mark and it's not going to let me do that. Well, okay, well, let me select the object first. This is the object we want to mark. Click mark. And again, it's not going to work because I don't have it hooked up to my laser. But you click on mark and then you hit start and it will make the mark. I'm going to show you here in a minute what the mark looks like. But before I do that, this one is going to be a whitish type mark, a light colored mark on the PMAG. The different plastics will probably look different and you may have to change these settings. But these are good starting settings for at least a polymer magazine for an AR-15. So even though this looks black, don't worry about it. That means nothing. It's not going to have any effect on what the mark is going to look like on the plastic. These is what's going to have the effect. So if I click pin number two and hit apply, it's going to use those parameters. So any, but anyway, back to where we were. So now that's going to leave a whitish light, really light white looking mark on a PMAG. So now I'm going to show you what settings I use to make a brown mark, a darker brown mark on the exact same polymer. So let's go back to our hatch and we'll use fill number one again, enable it, leave this outline no marking on, go down to all objects, leave that, leave this uh, setting as this same pattern here, cross hatch, let's don't cross hatch this one, let's click that off and our distance is going to be different. So double click that and this time it's 0.1 and enter. Well, let's go 0 0.1. Okay. This one, because we're not cross hatching, this number doesn't mean anything. So we can leave it at 45. That'd be fine. We're going to use pin number one again. All of these are zero. These are zero, but hit apply. If you don't hit apply, you'll see these lines mark show up. It's because our line spacing is different. If I zoom in again on that, you can see that pattern looks a little different. Anyway, it's not going to be black again. It's going to be dark brown, at least on a polymer mag. So now let's, we've already applied that. We can hit apply again. Let's go over to our pin number, to pin number one. Make sure this default parameter is unselected. This time we want to highlight all that and type 2000. Our speed is 2000 millimeters per second. Our power this time is 37 and a half percent. And our frequency this time is 50 kilohertz. We can leave all these numbers the same and hit apply. And now you're ready again to click mark or select it first. You got to select the, the one you want to hit and hit mark and press the start button. And it will, this time will show a dark brown color on the PMAG. So basically that is it. These are the parameters I normally change. This page and mostly I nearly always leave these numbers zero. These up here, this type, you can change that and makes, makes a difference. This distance in millimeters makes a big difference. And the other thing that makes a big difference is the speed, power, and frequency. So these three and the in this one right here, distance. And, and to some extent, this pattern is what you can change to make different marks, different colored marks on different materials. 
So that's really all I've got to show on this right now. Um, I'm going to shut this down and I'm going to show you, I'm going to bring up some pictures of the PMAG that I actually marked and a little video showing you them as it's being marked. And other than that, that's it. And if you have any other questions or comments, please let me know if you can contact me direct. If you need to either email, I'll put that information at the end or my cell phone, which I keep with me all the time. It's my business phone. I'll put that number on there. You can text me, you can call me, you can email, however you want to contact me. Ask anything you want. If I don't know the answer, I'll see if I can find it for you. But anyway, I'm going to shut this down right now. And to follow, you'll see the video, short video of it being marked. And then I'll show you some pictures of some of the other markings that I've done. And that'll be it. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you on the next one.